Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the previous lectures, we have discussed about the significance of genomic strata, significance of NGS sequencing methods, types of cancer genomic variations, how, why they are important, how, how they are associated with different clinical, the significance of their association with different clinical features. This lecture is more of a tutorial that, that how to analyze big data of cancer genomics and it is a very good guide for the biologists and bioinformaticians. For biologists, it is uh, it's a good guide because in, uh, uh, in the era of this big data, there is a lot of difficulties of using different next generation sequencing data sets to analyze their question of interest because it needs a lot of different programming languages and different computational approaches and algorithms to to cope with the challenges. So, biologists are not equipped with that and uh, this tutorial will help them to find a user friendly way to approach this big data and to analyze their information and come with the conclusions of their interest. And for bioinformaticians, it is important that for the first stage of getting the big data can be learned from here and then they can apply different approaches, different algorithms, different programming languages to come up with their answers to their specific questions. So, how to analyze the transcriptomic data of any cancer? Here in this tutorial, I have used the example of CBioPortal and uh, for that, uh, we will go through this whole exercise and uh, yeah, and you here you can see that I have put up a question that analyze expression data of set of genes from whole transcriptomic data of liver cancer. This are transcriptomic data can be of any microarray or RNA sequencing uh, technologies. That is what I have explained in the previous lecture. And then after uh, uh, getting any data set of any cancer here, for example, we have mentioned the liver cancer that then we will try to find answers that how many genes are upregulated, which genes showed highest or lowest frequency of overexpression, any significant uh, mutual exclusivity or co-occurrence observed between the genes. This mutual exclusivity actually means that the, if the, there are set of genes and one gene is exclusive to other gene, it means that if one gene is expressing, the other gene is not expressing and if the other gene is expressing, the first gene is not expressing. So, they are exclusive to each other and co-occurrence, it is simple, it means that if both one and the other gene are showing over, over expression at the same time. And, uh, and the next question, any gene that showed association with the survival of the cancer patient, that uh, this is called that now we are trying to find the association of gene with the clinical information of the patient, that whether the patient is alive or dead. So, if the gene is overexpressed in most of the dead patients, it means that this express, this gene may have some association with the death of the patient. If the gene associated with the alive patients, then we can say that this overexpression can lead to a longer life. So, there are different uh, estimations which we can do using the data sets and other clinical information available for the cancer that how we can extract that information from CBIO portal and after performing all these uh, analysis and, uh, and answering these questions, we can come up with the uh, interpreting the results and making a conclusion. So, let us select gene in a cancer type, right. So, here the question I put up is evaluate the expression of GLI1, GLI2, GLI3, SHH and IHH in liver cancer. So, first of all, if we want to uh, evaluate the expression, first we need to find a cancer type, cancer data that is liver cancer and then download that information in a in a graphical or in a tabular format and then perform the analysis and evaluate that whether uh, which gene showed overexpression in uh, which is showed the highest expression which showed the lowest frequency of expression and so on so let's go to cbio portal here you can see uh, that in cbio portal there are a lot of different data, data sets which I have already explained in my previous lecture. So, uh, just to make it consistent, we will directly go to the liver cancer because in the, the question we have raised is associated with liver cancer and to make it more uh, consistent from the previous lectures, we will again select the same 
cancer type that is liver hepatocellular carcinoma. Now after selecting that this type, we can this uh, part of the lecture is more helpful to biologists also for the bioinformaticians, but, uh, but it is more easier so that will help more to the biologists. So just select the uh, liver cancer and then query the gene. Here we want to see the expression, so we will just select the expression. Total number of samples with mRNA expression data are of, of RNA sequencing is 373. Here we will write the gene names GLI1, GLI2, GLI3, SHH, IHH and after writing these 5 genes, we will just submit the, okay, uh, we will just submit the query. Now after clicking, uh, clicking submit, we will get a onco print. This, this graphical interface is known as onco print. We'll, here you can see that those 5 genes, GLI1, 2, 3, SHH and IHH are arranged in row wise and each of this uh, column contains, uh, means one patient. For example, here TCG, A, D, D, A, 4, N, S is the first patient name, the other one is A, A, 1, D, then A, 3, M, 9. So these are different patients. So now if we just uh, go and try to uh, answer the questions we have, we put up, for instance, how many genes are upregulated? So here you can see that all five genes are upregulated but with different frequencies. Like GLI-1 is uh, showed 5% of our expression. If you just put your scroll here, you can see that altered slash profile means that 18 out of 7371 patients showed overexpression of or upregulation of GLI-1 gene. And 0.3% that is only 1 out of 371 patients showed the overexpression of GLI-2 gene. So in this way, you can see that the data is organized. Now if we see the next question, that is which genes showed highest or lowest frequency of overexpression. So here you can see that the highest frequency of overexpression is of SHH, that is 6%. The 21 out of 371 patients showed overexpression of sonic hedgehog. And the lowest of is of GLI-3, that is only 0.3%, that is the 1 out of 371 patients. So next. any significant mutual exclusivity or co-occurrence observed between the genes. So here C bioportal uh, has uh, a lot of different uh, graphs and tables related to these type of questions. For instance, if you follow this here, you can see that cancer type summary and then there is mutual exclusivity information. So here you can see that the they have already estimated the mutual exclusivity of all of these genes based on the information, GLI-1 versus GLI-3, GLI-3 versus GLI IHH, all different possible variations between the, uh, combinations of gene set. For example, GLI-1 is exclu whether exclusive to GLI-3 or not, GLI-3 is exclusive to. So after doing this uh, mutual exclusivity test, which is, uh, which is actually the Fisher test, uh, Fisher exact test uh, uh, of, uh, yeah, of co-occurrence and mutual exclusivity. So here you can see that only GLI-1 and GLI-3 showed significant association of co-occurrence with a p significant means that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So here only one gene, one combination showed the p-value that is less than 0 0.05. So we can say that uh, we can answer this question. This question, where is the question? Yeah, this one, that only GLI-1 and GLI-3 showed co-occurrence, significant co-occurrence between each other. And this, if you want to see gra graphically, you can see here that uh, most of the genes, most of the samples showed expression in both genes compared to the rest of the samples. Here you can see that only GLI-1 and GLI-3 showed association. There is no uh, uh, co-occurrence between GLI-1 and GLI-2, GLI-1 and GLI SHH and GLI-1 and IHH. So that's why it showed the p-value. So you can also see that why that p-value is significant. 
Then the next question is any gene showed association with the survival of the patient. So, for that they have another uh, option here survival. If you click the survival plot, these uh, plots are uh, Kaplan Meir plots and uh, I will explain uh, that in detail Kaplan Meir is the name of this plot. Here it is showing that the survival uh, association of altered group versus unaltered group with the survival altered group means that the alteration or our expression of all these five genes versus unaltered group that showed no association. So, the red represents the altered group and blue represents the unaltered group, but you here you can see that there is no significant difference because all the lines are overlapping most of the part is overlapping and that is why it does not show any difference that there is no difference between the altered and unaltered groups of the overall survival. So, if you want to learn in detail about the oh, what is kaplan meier survival and wha, wha, what is the significance of overall survival you can go on my channel and here you can uh, go into the playlist in the playlist here is not to play all yeah here you can see that there is one option of overall survival. So, this is a 8 minute video and it explains in detail that what does the survival means and how to estimate the survival if you want to do it yourself because maybe you have a more set of genes or you want to be specific to any gene. So, you can use this tutorial for this you have to download SPSS and just make an input file like this and uh, insert it. Uh, if you want to learn in detail you can watch all these videos and this will help you to uh, learn SPSS which will uh, ultimately lead you to perform your own analysis using your own data sets. But for here these this result shows that there is no association of overall survival with the uh, gene expression. So, here you can say that no gene showed any association with the survival of cancer patient. And uh, for this mutual exclusivity test again if you want to perform it yourself on your computer um, you have your own data set and your own uh, cancer patients and gene expression values then you can again go and here you can find in my playlist here Fisher test. This also tells you how to perform the Fisher test right. So, now, if uh, we want to uh, uh, download this information to perform these type of analysis, you can go to the download option and here you can see that all the expression values, this mRNA expression z score values of the 5 genes is available. You can just download here and it will download in a tab delimited file like this. Uh, let me show you where it is. Okay, here big data example this one yeah. Here you can see that all the information you just have to click here this download button and it will download in your computer and this will look like this. All the 373 patients data you can see that this is a 374, 4 means the first uh, Roche has the header. So, this is a total 373 patients information of GLIAT 1, GLIAT 2, GLIAT 3, SHH and IHH. These are the values of expression. This is the Z score expression. Um, this uh, what is the Z score and uh, what are log R values or the expression values. This is beyond the scope of the study, but here you can see that these are just the you can say that these are just expression values. Now, if you want to find the association with different clinical features you can download the information uh, uh, ok. But uh, again if you want to have the log r values or these z score values you, you can download this, but if you want the absolute values to calculate that like for example, this gene has showed high. Now, th based on the log r values they have estimated that this gene expression showed this sample showed high expression of GLI1. So, for that you just download this type of information by clicking this download TSV option and again this will download like uh, like this yeah like this. Now, it is it is it is it is uh, different 
uh, way of representing the data like GLI1 showed no alteration in this sample, GLI2 showed no alteration here. And uh, if you want to make it look more easy for you, you can just paste it here. Okay, so now you can, if you just sort it, so that's starting from the first sample to the last sample. Here you can see that all these samples showed. Uh, yeah, just delete this part. They are different ways to show the overexpression. Yeah, so these five genes showed overexpression in some set of samples. For example, here this sample had an overexpression of GLI1, right? This expression, this this gene has the overexpression of IHH. So this is the way to, uh, uh, you can download it for your own analysis if you want to do any further analysis like uh, survival analysis or any other Fisher, Fisher test for co-occurrence or mutual exclusivity and any other regression analysis or multiple ana analysis of variance that is called ANOVA, any type of analysis, you can use this file which is uploaded here. And now, uh, for, but for uh, to analyze this information with the clinical information, oh. for example, we want to download, uh, associ find the association with different clinical information. We also need the overall clinical information of these patients. Again, we can download it from here. You can just click the, this liver cancer study. And from liver cancer study, here we uh, want to find association with the mRNA expression. So you can select this one and uh, select the samples here like this if you select it. After selecting the samples, you can just click the download button. And when you will click this download button, it will upload, it will download the file in this fashion here. Like all the clinical information of each patient just to make it look more easy for you. I will copy that in on Excel. Now this sample, for instance, that is A95S and this and this is the, so this is the expression information of, this is the expression information of this sample and this is the clinical information of this sample. And now if you want to find the association with the different, uh, for example, let's suppose we have done survival analysis using CBIO portal. Uh, we can find the survival information analysis information here. Yeah, this one. Now, this is the overall survival information that whether the patient is deceased or the patient is living. And then there is a, how much time they have followed up the patient that is 53 months. So, we can use these two inputs. And this input of gene information and perform the survival analysis, which I have explained in detail in my tutorials here. This is the Fisher test, but uh, where is the, yeah. So you can use this tutorial to perform yourself the survival analysis, right? So yeah. So I think now you have a good idea about how to download the information of cancer genomics, transcriptomics from CBIO portal. I have used an example of liver cancer. I have selected mRNA expression data set and uh, the data set contains 373 patients. Uh, using this on coprint uh, method, we have discussed different uh, uh, values like which is the highest uh, gene, which is the gene, uh, which gene shows the highest frequency of expression, which gene showed the lowest frequency of expression, and then also which gene showed mutual exclusivity and co occurrence, and yeah, and which gene showed associ association with the survival. For instance, if you want to check the association of one gene at a time, uh, here we, we are just this uh, for your example or your exercise, you have to do it separately for each gene as well. So you just modify the query and you can delete the rest of the genes and let's suppose we are only looking for GLI1. You can just submit the query. Here you can see there is only one gene. Now if you want to see the survival of this gene, again it did not show any association. But 
You can also check one by one for each gene that whether any gene showed association for the survival. For your example, you have to do it separately for each gene. So that's why I'm saying that if you want to do it using the portal, it's up to you. If you want to, you, if you want to do using this SPSS analysis, uh, it's up to you. Right, and after performing all the analysis of uh, gene exp uh, exclusivity, co-occurrence, survival, okay, and, the, and the information that is available, this is just, uh, the, you just have to write it down that which genes showed uh, the, which, what is the clinical information available for the liver cancer. You don't have to do further analysis of Fisher test on this part, maybe later in your exercise. And uh, yes, after performing the, the uh, after analyzing these questions, you can interpret the result and make a conclusion. So, what can be the con conclusion of our study here? It is that uh, the you can say that the highest expressed gene is uh, was uh, probably GLI3 or SHH. Maybe which gene showed six percent of the expression. So, we can say that the overall expression of this gene is not very high. Uh, only 5 to 6 percent of the genes, uh, the maximum expression was only 6 percent of any specific gene and there was no association with the survival of patient. However, there might be some association between the expression of GLI-1 and GLI-3 because they showed co-occurrence. So, maybe these two genes are, sh are, are acting together in this GLI-1 and GLI-3 pathway to perform any specific function. However, that is not very clear with the uh, survival analysis that what type of uh, clinical implications th this these genes are making or and if you want to go dig deeper you can analyze the clinical association using these different clinical features for example here you can see that uh, using metastasis neuroplasm uh, stage tumor stage or other other clinical features. Clinical features, this information actually, if uh, this information was collected using NGS sequencing and then RNA, sorry, RNA sequencing and then interpreting the expression information and then coming up with the higher low expression or no expression of the gene. And this part of the data was, uh, you know, yeah, this part of the data came from the clinicians that what was the clinical stage. Uh, what whether the patient was had any metastasis, any node positive, or any tumor stage? So, yeah. So now I think uh, the, I am getting now making things more complicated. So I should stop here, and uh, I hope this tutorial will help you to solve the questions which I will give you via email or through and I, or I'll upload on the portal. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.